Welcome back, Dino Explorers! In our first episode, we learned about the era when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. In the second, we met some of the most famous land dinosaurs like T. rex and Triceratops. And in the third episode, we explored incredible flying reptiles and marine creatures that lived alongside dinosaurs, though they weren't technically dinosaurs themselves. If you haven't watched our earlier episodes yet, make sure to check them out for a better understanding of today's adventure. Today, in the final episode of our dinosaur series, we'll dive deep into the mystery of dinosaur extinction. We will learn how we study their fossils and how these amazing creatures live on in our media and imagination. Ready to wrap up the series in roaring style? Let's begin! Welcome to the world of dinosaurs. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how creatures as mighty as dinosaurs who once roamed all over the earth just disappeared? What happened to them? Why do we only see them today in books, pictures, and movies? Where did they go? Well, as we learned earlier, dinosaurs lived on earth millions of years ago. But about 66 million years ago, something drastic happened. Something that changed life on Earth forever. Almost all dinosaurs became extinct. Scientists have come up with different theories to explain this mass extinction. One of the most popular ideas is that a giant asteroid struck the Earth. The impact caused massive fires, blocked sunlight with thick dust clouds, and led to a dramatic drop in temperature. These extreme changes made it very hard for dinosaurs to survive. Another idea is that giant volcanoes in India called the Deccan Traps erupted for thousands of years. The smoke and lava changed the climate, harming plants and animals. Both the asteroid and volcanoes might have worked together. Dust and gas blocked sunlight dropping temperatures and killing plants. With no food, plant eaters died. And then the meat eaters too. Not all life vanished with the dinosaurs. While most of these mighty creatures went extinct, their disappearance opened the door for new life to grow and thrive. Small mammals, insects, and other resilient species managed to survive the catastrophic changes. And guess what? Birds, yes, the ones we see every day, are actually the closest living relatives of dinosaurs. That's right, birds are living dinosaurs. The legacy of the dinosaurs still flies among us today. Dinosaur bones turned into fossils, rocks that show us the shapes of creatures from long ago. Fossils form when an animal gets buried under mud or sand. Over millions of years, bones turn into stone, preserving their shape. 
paleontologists study these fossils to learn how dinosaurs looked and lived. Paleontologists are like Dino detectives. They study not just bones, but also dinosaur footprints and even fossilized dino poop. Yes, really. It's called coprolite, and it turns into rock over millions of years. By examining these clues, scientists learn what dinosaurs ate, how they moved, and how they lived their daily lives. They carefully dig up these ancient bones, clean them, and put the pieces together like a giant puzzle to discover the secrets of the past. Dinosaur fossils are displayed in museums for everyone to see. Skeletons are carefully put together so we can imagine these creatures walking the earth. Dinosaurs are stars of movies like Jurassic Park. While not always scientifically correct, these movies spark curiosity and imagination. <laughs> Friendly dinosaurs also appear in cartoons, books, and toys. From the land before time to dino puzzles, kids love learning through fun. Games and apps let us explore dino worlds, build skeletons, or even race as a T-Rex. Technology helps learning come alive. And that brings our dinosaur journey to an end. From fierce predators to gentle giants, from flying and swimming reptiles to fossils and films. Dinosaurs still stomp in our hearts and imaginations. You've done an amazing job exploring with us. And guess what? You're now a certified dino expert. But wait, are you ready to prove it? Let's see what you remember with a seven question quiz. I'll read each question with four choices. You'll get five seconds to think before I reveal the answer. Ready? Let's go! Question 1. What is one theory about why dinosaurs went extinct? A. They flew away. B. They got bored. C. An asteroid hit Earth. Or D they turn into robots. Think about what could cause a big change to the entire Earth. The correct answer is C. An asteroid hit Earth. A giant asteroid impact is believed to have caused fires, blocked sunlight, and cooled the Earth, making survival hard for dinosaurs. Question two. Which natural disaster may have helped cause dinosaur extinction? A. Tsunami B. Tornado C. Earthquake Or D. Volcanoes Can you guess which disaster can last for years and change the whole climate? The correct answer is D. Volcanoes Huge volcanic eruptions like the Deccan Traps released gases and ash that changed the Earth's climate. Question 3. What are fossils? A. Living dinosaurs B. Stone remains of ancient life C. Dinosaurs made of wood Or D. Robot dinosaurs These help scientists learn what lived on Earth long ago. The correct answer is B. Stone remains of ancient life Fossils are the preserved remains or traces of creatures from millions of years ago, often turned into rock. 
Question four, who studies dinosaur fossils? A, astronauts. B, chefs. C, paleontologists. Or D, musicians. These scientists are like detectives from the past. The correct answer is C, paleontologists. Paleontologists study fossils to understand how ancient creatures lived and what their world was like. Question five. Which of these animals are closest to dinosaurs? A, elephants, B, birds, C, lions, or D, frogs. Some dinosaurs actually evolved into these animals. The correct answer is B, birds. Birds share many features with dinosaurs and are considered their closest living relatives. Question six, where can we see real dinosaur skeletons? A, museums, B, movie theaters, C, zoos, or D, parks. Think of the place where you go to see ancient bones and science exhibits. The correct answer is A, museums. Museums display real dinosaur skeletons and fossil replicas for everyone to learn from and enjoy. Question seven. In which media can we see dinosaurs today? A, books, B, games, C, movies, or D, all of the above. You've probably seen dinosaurs in more than one of these. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Dinosaurs appear in many forms of media, helping us learn and imagine their world in fun ways. You did an amazing job, Dino Explorer. From ancient Earth to modern screens, your curiosity has brought dinosaurs back to life. Remember, learning never ends. So keep asking questions, discovering wonders, and sharing your dino love with others. Until next time, roar on! Like, subscribe, and share!